Hi guys, Geeta wants to know that if whether we have any parking option is there uh, in Fury if we are going for any vendor invoice or customer invoice. Quickly, let me give the background related to the parking option. So whenever any user is trying to post any high value voucher, it may be related to expense, related to any vendor invoice, customer invoice, when th that user does not have the authorization to post that invoice. So in that case, user may park the document so that in future, some different user, maybe super user, power user is going to post it. So two layer control will be there. So it is there in the on-premises. Now her question is, is it there in the Fury also or not? So definitely it is there in the Fury. So uh, I'm going to use the Fury application incoming invoice, vendor invoice to show that. I will park the document from Fury and uh, I will post that same document through on-premises because it's hybrid system. So any data I'm going to generate through Fury, same is will be available in my on-premises also. So you will get both options that uh, uh, how to park one document through Fury as well as how to post the document also. Okay, so let's take that in the system. So this is my Fury application and here I will go to the respective, you can, uh, this one I'm showing on vendor invoice, you can use uh, any one. So here uh, I will go to the incoming invoice, the application, otherwise, uh, like I recently I've used that one, so that's why it is available. Otherwise you can go to uh, your uh, uh, catalog and from there also you can get it. So I'm going to, so just I got this company code which I'm using for my live session and the same I'm going to use here. So I will just post one vendor invoice and this is the Fury application. This is not on-premises, this is your Fury application, right? So here you will select the vendor. Then select the date, any amount, let's take amount as 1200. Let something as debit item. So let's say, let's say, let's take this one. So I just picked one expenditure here and I will post it, but I will not post it. So as I said, I, I will park it. So here you can see the parking option is there. So here, uh, I will park the document. Now the document, you can see the document number 19001. This document is was parked. Check that message. And same data, we will access it through on-premise. So now I'm going to log into on-premises. Okay, and uh, let's see the status of the park document or let's say the line entry or the vendor line entry. FBL1N. So I can't see any data, right? So data is not there or line item not there because I have to select the park item that I have not selected here. So I need to select the park document. So I need to select the park item. This one I selected and now check. Okay, so this document is there and uh, what is the status of the document? The document status of the document is parked. And what is the document number? So it was there in the Fury. So it is possible. So through Fury also you can park, hold, simulate, everything you can do, whatever there in your on-premises, same is available Fury, through Fury also. Now let's post this document from on-premises. If you want, you can also post it from Fury too. So now I'm going to post the document from on-premises. And uh, if you recall, so there I have not entered the amount. Now here I will correct it and I will post it. Transaction code FB60. So this is the document here, it is available under your park document folder. So we will complete this document and this line item is incomplete because there I have not entered, right? So which GL line item? So GL line, this vendor line item entered there, amount entered, but GL line item was not entered. So I will select here. Okay, and I'm going to post it. So document, post it. So same part document, post it and refresh it. Right, so this is my vendor item, vendor payable item and the document is now status changed and this document is open. It's not at paid, so it's open, but it is posted. 
Recently, I have prepared one video on open item management, how to deal with the open item management. If you have not checked that video, you can check that. It is available. The thumbnail is there and also I will add in the description. The question that uh, let's say initially uh, user forgot to or when the GL master was created that time the user forgot to activate the open item management because any GL account need to be activated or there is a business requirement if you want to manage the open item. So the open item management should be activated. Now let's say at the time of or in the beginning the GL master does not having the open item management options was not selected and couple of transactions are also posted on that particular GL. Once after four months once we have uh, then once we realize that the GL master is does not having the open item management so as open item management is not activated so it is not possible in future we can do the reconciliation. So they realize that there is a mistake and this open item management need to be activated on the same GL account. So is it possible or if it is possible then how to do that? Obviously it is possible to uh, demonstrate this scenario. I have uh, created one GL account so you can see it is insurance payable and in this insurance payable account 2nd March some transactions are posted right and uh, if you we'll check this particular GL account and what is the status here? The status posted it's not uh, the open item management option not ticked there. And if you we'll check this particular GL account, so you can see here open item management is not activated. Exactly the same uh, scenario what she asked. So now it, uh, how to handle this particular scenario. So now from today, I want to activate the open item management. And after that, if you are going to post any document, so whether that uh, GL account is going to show the open item management option or not. So for that purpose, we have one transaction code is there in the SAP. So we can use that one. So you can use the transaction code FAGL. It's very common T code, which is mostly you will find in year end we used to do uh, this type of task period and this type of task we used to do, which is user activity. FAGL underscore activate underscore open OP. Enter. Now select here the company code. So I'm using a company code IN01. Then select for which GL you want to activate this one. So in our case, the GL account is, we are having the issue, the GL account is 1001. So that one we need to correct. 1001 and here enter any document type for adjustment purpose. Let Just randomly I will add here AB. Then uh, enter here some profit center. So whatever you have configured, you can select that one. So I just entered here the profit center and uh, some segment also you need to add. Let's run it with a test run then let's see uh, whether it is possible or not if any error is there or not. So execute. So here I can see all messages are green so that means it is possible and uh, we can do that. So here I'm showing this one on zero balance but if any line items are also there that also will work but only thing is you need to add one account where you can transfer the balances. So uh, here I found that there is no issue and but, but it is a background processing so that's why we will go for background processing so remove the test run. So what I did here I just entered the transaction code then I selected which GL account I need to activate open item management then from which date suppose let's say you want like it should reflect from the 1st April uh, next year that means from next financial year so that uh, switch and date you can select 31st March 2024 so you can select any uh, as per your need then enter the other details and just go to execute in background. Done. That's it. Now check the status. Right. So it is done this one and Let's check the GL account, that GL account 1001 which last time open item management was not there. Now here I can see open item management activated. So I have not activated this one in the edit mode, FS00, all these things I have not 
done. In fact, you will try, you will get the error, right? So you will not able to activate open active management once you will post the transaction. But this is this way it is going to work. So now if I'm going to post any document, so next status, what we, we will get, whether we will get the status as posted or we will get the status as open item. Let's do that. Definitely it will be open item status as GL account is showing that open item management indicator is activated, but still we will confirm by posting one document. So let's post one document here. Okay, so I'm taking here today's date and we will post it. So debit account will be, uh, this is balance it account. I have activated open item management because obviously in a balance it account, you will get the open item management and just select one GL account. So I'm going to take here, let's say it is uh, 1100. Select here one cost center. And we will take this account where we have activated, enter and post. So I got the document. Now here we will see whether we are going to have the open item or not. Now you can see today's transaction is posted with open status. So in this way you can activate open item management after once you realize the issue or after having uh, transactions also it is perfectly going. So Hema, I think you got your answer. So anyone having any issue, any scenario, feel free to mail me. I will love to create any scenario or I will answer it with some uh, dedicated video. So this is a good practice. I love to work on these areas. So it is not going to answer your queries. Also, it is going to help others also. See you in another video. Thank you.